Good afternoon, Guardians. My name is The Black Link, and we are back. It's Tuesday once again in the world of Destiny, and you know what that means. It's time for your weekly reset guide for the week of May 22nd, 2018. Mmm. Another week in Warmind. Let's go ahead and get on into things. Now, first things first, of course, your milestones are all refreshing this week. You've got your raid. You've got your Nightfalls, you've got your Iron Banner coming back this week, and of course your Heroic Strikes and all that other stuff. Your Flashpoint this week is going to be on IO, so make sure you get those done, head over to Cade, buy those treasure maps, get all of your gains that way. Now, for your Nightfall this week, this time around it is the Inverted Spire, in the Red Legion expedition that has ripped open the planet's surface. The challenges for the Nightfall are Unbroken, where you need to complete the Nightfall with fewer than three deaths, and the floor is lava, whereas a fire team do not get hit by Protheon's fiery ground attack before defeating him. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And for your weekly heroic strikes this week, your singe this week is Arc Singe, so Arc damage increases slightly from all sources. The daily modifiers this time around are grounded, so damage taken while you're airborne is greatly increased. And then Grenadier, where grenade abilities deal more damage and recharge much faster. Not too bad, just make sure you're staying on the ground and throwing grenades constantly. When it comes to the Leviathan raid this week, the order of encounters is the Baths, then the Dogs, then the Gauntlet, and then of course Callus himself. And the challenge this week is for the Dogs encounter. Alright, that is pretty much it for all of your director stuff. What do you say we head to the tower and see what's new in Eververse? Alright, so tuning in over here at Tess Everest this week, let's take a look. Our emotes this week are the Collaborative Dance. Take a look at that. Yeah, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all. And, of course, the Disco Dance. I've already got this one. Disco Fire, Disco Inferno, looking pretty good. Out of that, our Legendary Sparrow this week is the Glam Toboggan. And then for the Legendary Ship, we've got the Dusk Harrier today. Not too bad. Doesn't need talents to be the most dangerous thing in the sky. Now, if only our ships could shoot. After that, we've got the Curus Glorie 42. This is the fighter jet looking uh, new legendary ship. Super happy to get that this week. Then for our ghost shell, we've got the Skyline Flipside Shell. This is the new exotic shell. Looks kind of spooky. Just don't put the watermelon shader on. I'll, I'll, I'll show you why if I have it. It's, it's, it's kind of heretical. If you take a look at it right there, for some reason the red is on the outside and the green is on the inside. Absolutely unplayable. Next up for the Eververse armor, it is the class items. This week for uh, Titans, it's Hardy's Orders. Yeah, a nice little dongle piece right there in the middle. Mm, reminds me of what I used to have back in D1. Alright, after that we've got the ornaments. First up is Dread from Below. This is for the Telesto. Not too bad. And then we've got the Jade Jester for the Jade Rabbit. Alright, that's pretty much it for Eververse and usually where we call things quit on the weekly reset vid. But we've got one more place to go this week because, of course, the Iron Banner is back in town. That's right, Lord Saladin has arrived for the first Iron Banner of Season 3. Let's check out what he's got this week and how things are changing up. Alright, so here we go. The new Iron Banner stuff is ready to rock and roll. Let's take a look at some of the new ornaments that are available. These new Season 3 ornaments can be applied over the Iron Banner gear you've already earned back in Season 2. So if you've already got the full set of Iron Banner gear, all you got to do is complete the challenges to pick this stuff up. For the class item, you need to earn ranks in Iron Banner during Season 3 to earn this ornament. It's unlocked to the Mantle of Eferty, Radagast Iron Sash, and Timur's Iron Bond. You need to get at least 5 ranks with the Iron Banner. Out of that, we've got the new Iron Banner sidearm, the Allied Demand. Doesn't look too bad. I like the engraving of wolves on there. Reminds me of uh, the old Iron Banner sidearm from D1. It's got quick dot, short spec, target SAS, ricochet rounds, extended mags, and an auto-loading holster. Not too bad. Next up, we've got the Iron Banner leg ornaments. You need to get 100 super kills in order to unlock these bad boys. They just turn you straight silver. I like it. This is, this is a part of the Titan Shredder armor. Uh, looking like you're straight out of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Next up, we've got the Occluded Finality Iron Banner Sniper Rifle. This thing is coming in an aggressive frame, high impact sniper. It's got the SS-07 Sniper Scope as well as the SS-08 Sniper Scope. It's coming with tactical mag, armor piercing rounds, and field prep with increased ammo reserves and faster reload when you're crouched. That's not too bad. I like the high impact snipers in this game. Out of that, we got the new Iron Banner Arm Ornaments. These are looking pretty cool. Again, following that whole silver motif we've got. And they require that you reach rank 15 this season. You'll need to complete challenges in Iron Banner during Season 3 to unlock this ornament. 
Next up, we've got the all-new Iron Banner submachine gun, the Multimach CCX. Now, I'm a little bit bummed. I was hoping this would be in a different archetype than the standard 900 RPM archetype, but let's see what the perks are on it. It's a lightweight frame. It's got the IS-2 Classic Scope, as well as the Model 8 Red Scope. Accurized rounds, alloy magazine, and dynamic sway reduction. This is actually kind of helpful on uh, weapons that kick around like these high rate of fire submachine guns, so not too bad. Next up, we've got the Iron Banner Chest Ornament. For Titans, this is Silimer's Iron Plate. In order to unlock this, you'll need to get 100 power weapon kills. Then, we've got the new Iron Banner Energy Hand Cannon, the Finite Impactor. These all drop at about 340 light, by the way. It's in the 140 RPM archetype, so that's adaptive frame. It's got fast draw HCS, sure shot HCS, appended mag, drop mag, and snapshot sights for faster aim down sights times. Then finally, we've got the Iron Banner Ornament for the Helmet, Bretomart's Iron Helm. This requires that you win 25 matches within the Iron Banner. Shouldn't be too hard to complete. As you can see, you kind of got a shredder looking face there. I think it looks cool. Then, we've got the new Iron Banner rocket launcher, the Shining Sphere. This is coming in the adaptive frame. It's got quick launch, linear compensator, hard launch, alloy casing, high velocity rounds, and pulse monitor. Auto reloads part of the magazine when the wielder is critically wounded. I gotta say, I was really hoping for a cluster bombs rocket, but you know what? They can't all be great, I guess. Then, we've got the new Iron Banner auto rifle, the Dark Decider. This is in the rapid fire frame archetype. It's got corkscrew rifling. Uh, polygonal rifling, fluted barrel, extended mags, high caliber rounds, big ticket item there, and of course the auto loading holster. Not bad. Then finally, of course, we've got some of the glamour stuff with the Visage of Scory, the new Iron Banner uh, emblem. You'll have to reach rank 30 this season to get this. And the Esfera Triumph, the new Iron Banner ship. It's a reskin of the new jet ship that's available for sale this week from tests, so not too bad. You'll need to get rank 35 in the Iron Banner in order to get your hands on that. But alright, that is it for this week's reset video. Iron Banner is live, we've got some new stuff to grind for, and a whole new week of milestones for you Guardians to get done. I know I'm going to be in the Iron Banner trying to get this stuff done, and I hope to see you guys there. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Destiny 2 this week. Be sure to leave me your thoughts on all this stuff down in the comment section below. And as always, aim the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty. I'll catch you out there in the crucible.